Greetings and happy Saturday. I'm starting a vlog right now. I don't know if I will actually do a weekend in my life because I don't have any plans. I woke up naturally this morning at 7.30 and I went to bed at midnight last night. So that was really good for me. I feel like I'm normalizing my sleep schedule. And right now, I think I'm going to go to a track that I know of in town and just walk for a couple miles. I don't think that I would say that I'm bored right now, but I don't really have anything to do. But in my little maybe I can do this weekend, I wrote to go to Publix to get a few items, wanted to go to the gym, maybe the sauna, but I'm going to the track. Oh, and I did just finish watching the fifth movie. I think it's the fifth one of the After series, which I really loved the books. And I just recently found out that is actually Harry Styles fan fiction. Thanks, Harsha. <laughs> But I really liked the movies when I watched them on their own and then I ended up reading all the books. All right, let's see what I end up doing for the rest of the day. It is a beautiful day to go for a walk if you can see the blue skies over here. I made it to the Santa Fe College track. Santa Fe is the main, I think, state college here in Gainesville. Not too many people are here. I see a couple walking a doggy and I think a boy is recording himself doing some drills exercises i think i see a tripod there okay are you a fellow youtuber <laughs> i'll show you a few clips as i walk so you can see what i'm seeing but i think i'm just going to listen to a podcast and maybe walk just a couple miles but also fun fact about me i am not wearing my apple watch this year one because it dies on me so quickly and i really need to switch over to the one my dad gave me which is his old apple watch because he got a new one i told him i didn't want him to spend any money on getting me a new one because i thought mine you know i was fine with it but it actually does die very fast. And I also found that when I was wearing my Apple Watch that I would feel bad about myself if I didn't meet my circles. All you Apple Watch wearers, I know you know what that means. But when it gets to this place where I feel bad about myself, that's not healthy. So I stopped wearing it and I really don't care about how many steps I get, but just to kind of ensure that I'm getting some movement every day is my goal. And I'm definitely going to be able to hit the 15 minute walk for my habit tracking for January. I don't think I'm going to marry that boy who's doing little drills on the field, but you know, maybe my future husband will just roll up and want to go for a walk himself at the track. Oh buddy, it is really cold and a little bit windy and kind of hard to inhale. Here's the track. I don't know if it's normal to have a huge flag like this on display but that's the highway right there so you always know you're passing santa fe when you see this from the highway but yeah really nice day Woo! wow my pupils are needles <laughs> okay brown eyes please ignore my dry skin it's the tretinoin can't stop talking about it I ended up walking for about an hour did not find my husband could this be him up here walking i actually don't recognize this person <laughs> i'm trying to decide if i want to go to the sauna maybe just hang out for 15 minutes i think i will i think i will do that may as well i know there are lots of good health benefits and actually i do feel like i sleep better after i do the sauna and then maybe i will make my way to publix very exciting saturday oh my gosh look at this little family of deer and it's light too, aww. I made it to the gym and I did the sauna for 30 minutes, which is a lot for me because I've only been able to do it for 15 minutes at a time, but I actually brought my phone in and was listening to a podcast, so that really helped. And then right at the end when I only had one minute left, my phone did the temperature thing where it said my phone was too hot to use. So perfect timing, but I hope I also didn't damage it that way. But I think we're good on that front. So now I'm outside of Publix. I will take you with me, maybe do some B-roll. I probably won't talk, but let's go to Publix. personal approach when I go to the grocery store is to actually park next to the cart return instead of getting the spot closest to the front of the store. And if you've never looked up the, or you don't know what the shopping cart theory is, you need to look it up. <laughs> right now this is giving me that woman in the Powerpuff Girls who never actually shook her head. Yay, Publix haul coming! Alright, welcome to my Publix haul. <laughs> 
everything that I bought was a deal and I don't usually shop at Publix because it is more expensive than some other grocery stores but when you do the deals it actually is cheaper and I do look it up like for example one of these is $2.79 so then you're really getting two for what is that $1.40 which at Walmart, it's about um, maybe like 180 or something. So those are like the things that I look up. And gosh darn it, I think I just realized that I had, these were buy two, get two free, but I only got two and I forgot to grab the other two. I wonder if Publix would let me grab them because it is a deal. I think I'm gonna go back and ask. Maybe not tonight or maybe it's only 8 p.m. All right, so I'll double check that deal, but I got two six packs. And I'm hopefully gonna get the other two. These were Bogo Love a Chocolate Donut. These were two for five, and so that means each was $2.50, which is cheaper than what the blocks were, even the Publix brand. This was $6, and is this a 16 ounce? I think that's a pound. Don't at me if that's incorrect. Hot sauce was Bogo. Shredded cheese, two for five again, same price as Publix's deal meatballs one of these is 10.79 so really i got two of these for six dollars 5.50 so all pods for bogo seedless red grapes were surprisingly low price and when Publix actually identifies something as surprisingly low it really is lower even than walmart plant butter bogo these were three dollars and i don't know that it's necessarily a deal but for my little vision board night that i'm having this upcoming week I thought these were the cute desserts and I really need to force myself to not eat them now. And finally, BOGO soups and fun fact, I've never had any of these before. These ones that say spicy, I didn't even know there was a spicy Campbell's Chunky line. So actually I have had like chicken noodle and the chicken and sausage gumbo, those before, but never the spicy version. What's this one? Creamy chicken Cajun style Alfredo, oh, that sounds good. Creamy chicken bacon carbonara and steak and potato. I know that I got sliced bread, but I think I left it in the car. And actually I wonder, I think I'm going to go back to Publix. It's just two minutes down the road. Dedication, because I surely would not have bought these just on its own. That would be a Walmart thing that I get. Yay, we have secured the bread and I was able to get the two Cokes. So I saved $16. Saved, you know, the fact that it was on sale, was that what incentivized me to buy it? Yes, but also I think it's like a 50-50. I would have bought it on my own accord anyway. Now, angles. <laughs> now I need to make myself dinner and I'm so tempted by this new stuff that I have, but I already put stuff to thaw that my mom made from the freezer into the fridge. And I do want to be mindful of that. So it looks like I'll be eating some salmon and brown rice, but perhaps I'll put some hot sauce with it. Yay, this looks so good. This is smoked salmon, and I'm gonna put this chili lime Cholula sauce. I've never had this kind of hot sauce before, so I hope it's good. Hello. Good morning, happy Sunday. It's another bright and beautiful day outside, and I'm going to go take my friend's dog for a walk because I'm on dog anti-duty. I'm feeling really good this morning. I feel like I got a good amount of sleep, and I'm happy that I was able to get some things off of my list, like I unexpectedly didn't think I'd get all the things that I got from Publix. I walked outside, I did not drink my water, I made my way to the sauna. It's been a really nice solo weekend. Here's my friend Bernie. He is a little explorer, and I don't think he has very many dog friends, so I'm trying to let him sniff his little heart out. He did used to go to the doggy park with Chief and Gardenia. That's actually how we all met, because of our dog pants status. Hello from the floor. Sometimes you just need a good floor session. But oh my gosh, I just finished Silver Flames, part of the Akatar series. And wow, five out of five. I think we're going to try to do a book club on it. It has been a really great day. I have had a lovely time this weekend. Now I'm going to go take Bernie for a quick walk again. And then when I get home, what do I want to do? I've already made my meal for tomorrow. Wow. Okay, I'm just gonna make a list of stuff that I wanna get done around the house. Is this what being an adult feels like? No, because that looks different for everyone. But this is what it feels like to have your poo-poo together, I feel like. And man, does it feel good. 
Ew. But not after laying on the ground for that long. <laughs> this is my sign to go wash my hair for the week. <laughs> it's about 8.15 right now, and I actually did end up having some human contact. I ran into Rachel and Gardenia downstairs, and I just wanted to go to the sauna. I didn't want to walk or anything because I'm tired and I think I walked like three miles earlier today. So I asked Rachel if she wanted to join me and she said yes. So we literally went to the gym just to sit in the sauna for 30 minutes, but that sweat was like I did like true cardio. So yay. Something I want to talk about, not in this vlog, and I don't know that it necessarily is going to be in a vlog or I don't know if I would ever get to the point where I do a sit down video, but I want to talk about friendship and loneliness and being a single woman in your 30s, late 20s with no children and how that kind of looks different as this is the age that a lot of my friends are getting partnered and having children. And I think it would be an interesting discussion topic. So maybe I will do that sometime soon. At least I'll put it in here to remind me that that's something I maybe wanna do. So now I'm gonna go wash my hair, get ready for bed. I'm actually feeling tired, so. Maybe I'll come back and do a, this is what my hair looks like after I use a shark on it, but maybe not. So if I don't come back, I'll see you in the next one. And if I do come back, I'll still see you in the next one, but here's my hair. <laughs> Look what I did. I blew my hair out with the, the curling tool from the shark. It actually looks like it's already falling out, but I did my entire head and it wasn't bad. I think I just need to figure out what product to put in it. Some were looking like Shirley Temple. Yeah, she's definitely falling. Like if I were going out right now, I would be so happy. Let's see how it fares when I go to sleep. Farewell, see you in the next one.